fighters in El Paso. Slay Tiger, Slay Tiger for the Bible. Ninja. Ian Pap, Ian Sevney, Zestava, Fat and Raffle, Redneck, Fat and Raffle. To be blunt, the Democrats and the elitists at the top are fucking pussies. Save California from communism. This has been a paid. What's up? It's Sly Tiger with Sly Tiger Survival, and uh, this is one of my favorite guns of all time. M70 AB2 underfolder, and I ate up the finish intentionally because I wouldn't have to worry about it. I like ugly beat up AKs. So, what I do, I um, ordered a goddamn gun from Classic Firearms. I figured I had a pretty smooth deal on it, and uh, this is a magical unboxing video. <laughs> Hugo Impact, supposedly M70. I think it's based on the M70B1 model. And uh, let me move the glare out. Maybe that'll help. So, uh, you know, for 400 something bucks, I figured this was a steal of a deal. That's my son over there. Cool, he's playing with army guys. So anyway, as the butthole stock, and this is the first gun out of two that I've ordered in one week from Classic Firearms. So um, I'd put out a review anyway, and supposedly I'll get a, like a small ass discount, like 5%. So believe me, no one's paying me to do this shit. I already ordered the gun anyway. But um, anyway, so it says this is new. My M70 AB2 said it was used because it's partially made out of surplus. Um, parts on mostly U.S. shit. The receiver is Nodak Spud on this one. It's a Nodak Spud receiver on an American CMV non-line, non-hammer forged barrel. So I wanted at least a hammer forged barrel, which which this one does have. So uh, this stone hole stock's not bad. I'll show it to you from back to forward. The only thing I don't like about the uh, thumb hole stock is the uh this is kind of wide let's see the actual grip is wide i like the thinner grips on the uh like wasters and shit at least the old wasters and i don't even like the ergos on ergo grips the hoe grips or whatever so anyway um it has a usual waster or not wasters a stop of stiffness which is good i'll tell you what my, the other gun I got is a Pfeffer 54R 20.5 inch barrel. And, uh, Obama says you They were get very hard to get a hold of. Classic Pepper. was, and I was getting pissed off. <gasps> but they finally, uh, it was because their online store said they were open on Saturday. And um, they were hard to get a hold of still on the phone. But I got a hold of them, and they were very nice. So um, I'll be fair about it. But it did come with one magazine. I'll show you what it came in the box, actually. If you can uh, see, I'll rotate the, the camera. Yes, my camera is sitting on toilet paper, by the way. This is a cell phone channel. It's an iPhone channel. Keep the channel going, right? So, um, what came in the box? Two styrofoam pads. Um, a a Tapco 30 round magazine and uh, let's see it did have the Zestava proof shit the impact proof shit ah. which I thought was cool um, my reason why I like Yugos is the Iraqis were based on the Yugos their AKs and uh, it's a little handbook on the impacts and then there is a uh, red army standard ad and hot shot and i guess they're going to come out with some new shit but for 400 and something bucks i really thought this was a still the deal cool 
it's a boat thing. It's for the boat. He's bringing me his toys. For 400 summon bucks with the side scope mount. Anyway, for 400 summon bucks, I think it was 459 or 469, one or the other. You know, it has a side scope mount. I will tell you, compared to my C39 I've had to send back, this is a better deal. And, uh, you know, this, I've really liked it. Like, just picking it out of the box. Everything fits nice. The fit is fantastic on Zestava. Now, I'd say Vepers and Zestavas are probably, from what I've held, even compared to Arsenal, I do not like Arsenal um, for the price. I like Vepers better. But this is the uh, butthole stock and the Vepers, the boat or butthole stock. But it's not bad. I, I really don't mind. I'm not in some major rush to put shit on. I'll do it when I get the money. But just right out of the box, my son's driving a boat around the kitchen. Right out of the box is really nice. And uh, we'll, we'll pop it open. You know, Zestavas are a bitch to open, in my, in my opinion. We got this, it fits like a glove. And check out this bolt carrier group. I've never seen one like this. It's all shiny and, sh or not the bolt carrier, the recoil spring is really shiny and nice. And here's the innards under the hood, as uh, AK Operators Union calls it. And uh, for the six out. A lot of people don't, I watched a Dimcad video and he had like, he was freaking out about um, his, his uh, bolt sticking to the hammer on these things and all he had to do was just change it a little bit of the, uh, the hammer just right there, just right there at the rectangle part, just a little bit and it wouldn't stick. Most AKs, if not all, of American AKs do that. With the bolt carrier group and um, the piston are very nice. It's all chrome lined. It's fancy. Ooh, ah. And the inside, it seems thicker than my M70 AB2. I don't know if you can see it, but my M70 AB2, if you look, has the goddamn... Um, RPK, let me move the damn one point sling out of the way. RPK bulge front trunnion like the OPAP. It's pretty much an American OPAP. I'll show you. OPAP, the only difference between the NPAP and OPAP is um, Vepers and OPAPs have this RPK front trunnion, but the RPKs don't have the magazine dimple. Not any model that I know of. Uh, but the but the receiver on the end pad actually looks thicker, like right here and stuff. It, it's a fine made weapon. Zestava, in my opinion, are fabulous. And the, uh, the ejectors seem really good. Um, you know, that's what happened on my C39. I never am going to try to get an American made AK again. After my C39 has had two what looks like heat treated issues on the rifle. So I'm fixing a toy for my son, by the way. Here you go, baby. Here he is. El Chico, one GI Joe. My favorite GI Joe is Snake Eyes and Cover Commander. So, anyway, everything seems pretty squared away. The, the, um, Front sight post seems uh, straight. I don't see any visible cant. Of course, the front sight's a little bit to the right, but that's, you know, um, that's because it's actually adjusted that way. But um, nothing I can't do. And it, when I do swap the stock, it's either, well, the Magpul stock won't go on this. But I'll swap it out with the goddamn um, bone steel side folder. 
Taliban looking triangle stock. I think those are absolutely badass. So, and I'm of course gonna file the safety so it's easier to um, switch on and off. I've used uh, Haji AKs that are actually tough to uh, switch as well. So, you gotta love the AK. So this is Sly Tiger, Sly Tiger Survival. I hope I explained everything. It's cold hammer forged barrel. Whereas the M70 AB2 has just a CMV, non-lined, standard, rinky-dinky, U.S.-made barrel. Thank you. Yeah, welcome to Obama Town. Hold the chains, hey, my lord and savior. Give me your houses. According to Obama... You don't get no fucking goddamned vapor.